Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a Cromel School. Beaten nails are the most complex case for a nail tech. What shall we do? How to process them correctly? You will learn from this video. I will share with you a new life hack. Let's get into it. Here are today's nails. My model is a young university student, so she's always stressed and she keeps biting her nails. And as a result, that's what they look like now. Our task is to transform them and make sure that these hands look elegant and polished. And first things first, we need to open up the cuticle pocket with an orange stick. For such spreading cuticle, using an orange stick is less dramatic and painful. Often such nails are sweating a lot, which makes us to struggle with processing them. So I apply some talcum powder to remove all the excess moisture. You can use some baby powder instead. Just make sure that it goes well with the material you're using. So first, I lift up the cuticle using a safe drill bit. This bit has got no abrasive, so it is perfect for such badly spreading cuticles. It will not overfile the nail plate, so it is great for beginners. Next, I grab a red flame drill bit, 0.21 in diameter, and clean up the areas that I couldn't reach with the safe drill bit. I also process lateral folds and side sinuses. Make sure to process the front nail fold as well, so that it's easier to do a coating later. On such beaten nails, the front fold is often protruding, which makes the sculpting process more difficult. Once we have processed all the left sides, switch to the reverse and process the right ones. It is not that easy to process such cuticles, especially if you are a beginner. It takes time and lots of practice to master this technique and avoid injuring the skin. So make sure to watch your client's reaction. Ask them if they feel any pain or discomfort. Now before cutting the cuticle, we polish the nail plate using a 240 grit nail file to lift up the nail scales well. Note that we don't cut the cuticle yet, since otherwise we can easily cut it. We polish it first and only then cut it off. Make long moves from left to right. I will cut the cuticle with tweezer scissors. And we'll have to cut such badly spreading cuticles twice. Cut off the main part of it first, and then we will see how clean the cuticle pocket is. It is not clean enough yet, so we can always go back to filing it and then cut it off with scissors. So in this particular case, we have to cut the cuticle twice. Lift it up and cut. Lift it up and cut. Why do we need this? Well, the thing is that we can't get deep enough with the drill bit and see if it's all clean there. But after cutting, we can see all the excess skin leftovers and we can process them again with the drill bit. We can polish all the tiny hangnails with a diamond drill bit, a sphere or a rounded cone one, the one you're comfortable working with. Don't process one area for too long to make sure that it doesn't burn, cause any discomfort, and the manicure procedure is as safe and comfortable as possible. Besides, I process the front distal fold and polish all the rough skin. Done with the manicure? And as you can see, the nails already look way better. I love this part, when the client can't recognize their own hands since the nail plate got longer. For better bonding, we will degrease the nails and apply some acid-free primer. Apply it carefully without getting on the skin to avoid any allergic reactions. Before sculpting, we need to apply a thin layer of a rubber base coat Try to avoid getting on the skin. To cover up the free edge, I place the brush perpendicularly and carefully paint it. I'm sure you will agree that with such a short nail plate, a regular gel coating will not look that aesthetically pleasing. The nails are too short and ridiculously round. So we will sculpt them today. Not every nail technician, though, can set up the form correctly on such nails. So today, we will extend them using dual forms. And here, that very life hack that I promised to share with you. 
To push the front nail fold, we will need to use some tape. Here are the strips that I will use today. They are normally used to smooth out the wrinkles, but I found a new application for them. Now let's choose the dual forms. I will use this ballerina form today to sculpt a narrowed square. It will complement the short nail plate. The form should fit in the gross points. We will use Acrygel for sculpting. That is the best material to use with dual forms. Now let's proceed with taping. Stick the tape to the fingertip, pull it well, and the front fold gets pushed away immediately. Now it won't get in the way. The layer will be thick enough, and as a result, the nails will last longer. I set up the form taking a step back from the cuticle, since otherwise the nail will get uplifted. Such beaten nails are naturally upgrowing, and the front fold adds up to it, so make sure to set up the form straight. Cure the nail for a couple of seconds, turn the nail over and smooth out the material from the inside. Make sure to smooth it out well, in order to file it last later. Done with sculpting? Now we can proceed with filing. Wipe off the tacular first in the cuticle zone and from the inside. Now let's move on to filing. Using a thin carbide drill bit, I removed the layering near the cuticle and all the pools. Make sure not to put the drill bit on its tip so as not to overfile the nail plate. Next, we will need to touch up the shape with a file. File the sides and the lower parallels and polish the nail surface. By filing of the thickness, we will make the nail plate less uplifted. If there is not enough material in the gross points, we can add some more. Unfortunately, it is a common practice for bitten nails. Acrygel is perfect for this purpose, since it easily fills in all the gaps. Don't worry, it won't affect wearability. Next, we need to file it out on the inside. I slightly touch up the sides, and the middle part is fine. I turn the hand over and file out the thickness. The fridge part should be 0.7 to 1 mm thick, depending on the design. That's it. Plastic grease it, and I can see that there is still little material near the cuticle, so I will use this base coat. My model wanted something nude and shimmery, so we decided to use this shimmery base by Cosmo Profi. I put a drop near the cuticle and spread it with the brush. Then I fix it with a thin brush. The reason why I decided to apply the dual form taking a step back from the cuticle is that I didn't want to file that area in order not to ruin the manicure. It was difficult to work with such spreading cuticles, so I wanted to keep that polished look that I have achieved. Apply a medium aligning layer of the top coat and sand the nails to cure for 30 seconds. To avoid new hangnails, let's polish the cuticle with some oil. I apply it on the tissue, rub it into the skin, and next, we will need a gray silicone carbide polisher. In the reverse position, I polish the skin and seal all the scales and hangnails. They will hardly appear again. And hangnails are very typical of this cuticle type. This way we moisturize and nourish the cuticle. Here's the finished look. I think the nails look amazing, and if you think so too, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to check out my video on bitten nail extension with paper forms. I wish you all success in your work. Good luck! Bye-bye!